Hello and welcome to my Honda Fix. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to help me reach my subscriber goal. Here we have the 1991 Suzuki Carry 660 Mini Truck or the Key Truck. The goal here was to spend less than a thousand dollars upgrading the stock key truck. Here we will show you if you purchase a key truck what you can do with a thousand dollars or less. Um, of course that does not include labor, it includes doing everything yourself. My friend purchased this one and the two of us are doing the upgrades for him. He did compensate us with labor, um, however you can do this for less than a thousand dollars. This particular model has a high low range that gives you four high speed gears and four low speed gears. Whether you select high or low, uh, it does come with a locking rear end and it comes with locking front axles. It also includes a dump bed, AC, heat, and CD player are some of the other options that it does come with. It does have a toolbox on the side that was locked when we picked it up. We did have to pry it open and replace the lock assembly. Both the locking toolbox and the battery cover were damaged and bodywork had to be done to straighten the two pieces out. My friend Jason agreed to help me with the project so we're using his shop. Um, he has started by removing all the stuff trimmed in on the front. Uh, he will be removing the headlight assemblies, uh, pretty much everything on the front end, uh, anything and everything attached to the doors. We will be trimming in the interior. The engine bay ends up being trimmed in a black and the interior is trimmed in a khaki or tan. So door panels, all the rubber trim, everything has to be removed in order for us to do this. And that is what he's currently working on. I'm working on the rear bed. There was a uh, covers over the rails that had to be removed and I am removing all the adhesive that they used to apply it. There was an overwhelming amount of adhesive but we had to get all that off in order to prep it. As you can see here I'm using a wire wheel to basically strip all of the rubber away that was left behind. Um, the sides were done in like a 3M tape I believe, uh, double sided sticky tape which was I think applied, they used some sort of glue to apply that as well. The rear had some sort of rubberized uh, heavy sealant. I have no clue what it was, it was thick, it was nasty and very difficult to remove. But anyway we need to get every bit of that off so that we can prep the paint. The paint on this vehicle is very hard, almost like an airplane paint. Um, the clear coat seems to be very difficult to etch in order to get paint to stick. That is one issue we ran into. But I will spend most of the time in this video working on the rear deck trying to get it prepped and ready for paint. Uh, eventually once I get all the adhesive off and get it cleaned up enough, uh, with the wire wheel, I will use an etching pad to etch the paint where there was an adhesive, and then I will use uh, just canned primer. In order to standard budget, we are using all aerosols on this project, so no expensive high-end paints. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I will go over that with the primer because I did go down the metal on some parts of the wire wheel, so you immediately want to get that covered with primer to prevent rusting. As Jason pulls all the parts off, he is tagging and labeling everything, you know, passenger driver side, uh, where it's located on the doors, trims. You do want to make sure you do take all those precautions when you are removing parts so you know exactly where they go. And there's no confusion replacing parts, but he will end up pulling everything off the door panels so that we can trim the paint in under the door panels. Um, he has to remove all the rubber grommets. 
locking mechanisms. Window and window trim. I believe the windows can be dropped and the window trim will be pulled out. And then we did leave the front windshield in. We did remove the rear windshield. And we will also raise the dump bed and completely prep the underside of the bed, which I did not catch on video. I don't know if I deleted the videos or if it was never done, but I'm guessing one night we completely prepped underneath the bed and it is painted in a matte black. You can see I'm now priming in certain sections just to make sure there's no rust that forms before we paint it and I'm also taking a scuff pad and then now I will start working on just some of the small dents and stuff that are easily removed to kind of clean up the sides. There really wasn't a lot of dents on this vehicle. Um, they, it did come from Japan. It is a right hand drive. Um, for as much as these things go through, this thing was relatively dent free. Um, I mean, there are dents on it, but there was no major damage. Um, mainly the toolbox and the battery cover need to be straightened up and then just a few minor spots around the body which didn't take very long at all I am definitely not a body shop person my background is in mechanics mostly and electronics so um, it really isn't that difficult uh, with a little YouTube knowledge or whatever you can straighten this stuff out pretty easy and uh, make it look pretty good Ironically, Jason does have a lot of body shop experience. He has done quite a bit of it um, and painted several cars. Um, he wasn't too sure about the idea of us using aerosols on this thing, but um, he's down for anything I do. And uh, he was a little skeptical about the paint patterns and what we were going to do. Even after we got started, he wasn't so sure about it. But by the end, he was very impressed um, with what we were able to pull off, especially for the price. Um, I don't know the exact cost in paint right offhand, but I'm guessing we were somewhere around the $100 to $150 range um, for the actual paint itself. Uh, there was no clear coat because we are doing a camouflage. Um, My wife step in and my dog Allison changed briefly. She's the little black dog. Now we change views to the front. Uh, we did take all the measurements on the stickers. We pulled all the stickers off the front of the vehicle and the doors. Um, but we did not go back with the stickers. We thought we might eventually go back with a khaki style sticker but decided that it was better off without it. And here you can see the uh, battery box piece that was uh, fixed and the toolbox has now been fixed and primed in and ready for the locking assembly and here we have a picture underneath before and this is after basically just a matte black and then a before picture underneath there and then you'll see the after picture um, 
trimmed it nicely, we taped everything off, took quite a bit of time, but again, lost the video footage. Here's the interior before, and then there's the engine bay trimmed in matte black, and then we see where we started trimming in the khaki. Alright, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out our next video.